holistic travel nurse here, Naomi. In this video, we are going to talk about our pets that travel with us full time. And this one is Peanut. This is my husband's dog. She fishes. Anyways, not really. She's 10 years old. We have had an issue with fleas. Really bad. Can't stand him. And we were like, well, instead of just using the oils, let's try something um, that they say you put topically on. Because we had someone else in the park who said, try that. And they use it on their dogs. And I put it on my other dog. And she seems to have more fleas than this one. And I was picking the fleas off of her. So it's not effective. And then it's toxic. And so we are going back to our non-toxic spray. So when this, we bought these cute little things um, at a farmer's market. And someone just made this fabric. And it goes around um, someone who can show she is a super woman that's why she's wearing it it's kind of dirty and needs to be washed but this is our flea collar so we would like to spray this more than the dogs and then on the clothes the um the essential oils will um stay around more than on their fur sometimes and so um this is a good little flea repellent for them and so in this video we're going to show you how i make one spray bottle um, we're going to use some fractionated coconut oil. You can do grapeseed oil if you'd like to. And then different oils for different stuff. So if you are looking for um, more of a fleas like us, we really like eucalyptus. And so um, I already squirt um, some fractionated coconut oil. And you almost want to try to get equal parts. But I'm going to do about 10 drops of eucalyptus. Um, these are what oils have helped us. So eucalyptus, 10 drops. And again, I only use deuteras because I know that they don't have any additives and they're the purest and strongest. They actually smell better. When I have gone to a store just recently that sells oils and we were smelling their samples and oh, they were horrible. It's like, this is what people think they're getting with oils. They're never going to want to buy oils. They were just so bad. Um, you can do peppermint, but we really like spearmint. So spearmint, I'm going to again do 10 drops of spearmint. We really like this combination together, us, for the smell. And so it smells amazing. I, I thought this is a weird combination, but really try to put it in your diffuser. Maybe I'll diffuse this today in this room. Um, great flea and tick repellent. Um, and then... If you have an anxious dog like I do, you might add some lavender. Lavender is super calming and super great for them. And so um, if they get anxious out walking other dogs, they pick up your anxiety, then lavender is another one that it does repel. Another one you can use is lemongrass. Um, and Terra has a repellent spray. I'm not sure if these are the oils that you can use with the animals, but I'll give you the sheet all on it. You can buy that. But I think it's easy to kind of make, uh, make one. Then add water to this. And therefore you have your own flea and tick repellent. It will probably repel more than that. Um, with some of these oils will probably keep away spiders and mosquitoes. When mosquitoes come around, um, it will help with that too. But you try it. Tell me how you like it. If you don't have doTERRA's oils and you would like to try their oils, you can email me at holistictravelnurse.com and we'll see about getting you some samples out for you to try. Um, I hope this helps you and have a wonderful day. God bless.